In this video, we're going to learn how to configure white labeling. White labeling allows you to rebrand and resell the matrix platform as your own. Here are the main steps that we need to do. First, we have to enable white labeling, then create partial administrators, and in the end, learn how to configure your own email server. To start setting up white labeling, click Admin, Portal, and then visit the More tab. And here you will see the option for white labeling. Click Enable. When you enable white labeling, the following changes take place. Your site is isolated from other sites. The matrix favicon is not displayed in the browser tab. The matrix metadata is no longer included at the top of each HTML page. And full administrators can create partial administrators. Now let's go ahead and create a partial administrator. Click Accounts. Typically, the vendor who resells the site has one or more full administrator accounts which they use to customize the portal, manage payments to Matrix, and access the support forum. In addition, the vendor can create partial administrator accounts for the company that they are reselling the site to. Select Administrator, and here you can specify whether they are full or partial. Select the number of accounts and whether you want users to change their password when they first log in and if you want to send them login instructions. Click Continue. Enter the first and last name of the administrator, the user ID and password. The other information can be added later. Click Save, and the account was created. To set up more options for site administrators, go to Admin, Policies, and here you can select if you want administrators to be able to see all user IDs and passwords, and if you want to allow them to modify the portal. Take note that partial administrators cannot access the support forum unless of the help content is available to them. The last step in setting up white labeling is configuring your own email server. By default, all emails are sent and received through our own email server. Once you've enabled white labeling, we recommend that you configure your site to have your own email server. We'll have a separate video on how to configure your own email server, so make sure to watch it. And now you have white labeling configured, and the site is ready to be used for resetting purposes. To see more features, watch some of the other videos, or visit our tool page on our website.